This is better than my imagination This is more than a dream come true Without the slightest bit of hesitation I knew what I was meant to do What do you think you're doing? Well, holding towels comes to mind. No one. No one gets in my way when I'm training. You could have broken my concentration. What's to concentrate on? You put one foot in front of the other and uh, try not to fall. You've been warned, Clements. Just stay out of my way. Something wrong with your throat, Dr. Kent? Someone's building a sandcastle? Andrew, is there something you wanted? There's this guy at school who's giving me a hard time because he's the track star and I'm just the towel boy. Well, he's no better than you. You just ignore him. I can't ignore him! <laughs> Yes, it works. <sighs> Sorry. Look, Andrew, when I was a boy, I had a couple of guys giving me a hard time, too. They were the captains of the baseball team. They both swore they would never pick me for their team. Were you that bad? I knew that one of them would have to pick me. And? 
Well, after a while it got dark and I went home. <clears throat> well, you must have wanted to get even. Only for about three years and then I forgot about it. I want to thank you for helping to bring back that horrible experience in such a vivid fashion. Any time. The point is, I discovered my interest in science. I built up my self-esteem. And then those guys could never get to me anymore. I can't even remember their names. Wow, this is very inspiring. Andrew, you have talents too. So just forget about this kid. Oh, like you did. Ah. Oh, gee. Thanks, Dr. J. Don't mention it. Randy Collier, Scott Pixty. What a dweeb. Wait a minute. David Matthews may be fast, but he certainly isn't ultra fast. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event. In lane four, the fastest, most attractive, and most popular guy at Briarwood High, Andrew Clements. <laughs> ladies, ladies, please. In lane three, the cruel, the stupid, and the unpopular, David Matthews. Boo, boo. Tomorrow? forces of good will triumph over the forces of stupid when the world meets Ultra Jock. They can't know I'm Ultra Jock. They'll just have to think I'm naturally fast. 98, 99, 100. In lane five, the fantastic Andrew Clements. Oh, too fast. Ugh. Hey, forty nine five. Not bad. Not good enough. Hey, Dad, how's my time? Well, great if you want to be a coach for the rest of your life. Dad, it's just practice. No such thing. Dad? Hey, coach? What's up? I'd like to try out for the team. Hey, you are on the team, kid. No, I want to run. <laughs> well, thanks, but we got enough slow guys in the squad already. Andrew, you're a good kid. But last year, you came 30th in the time trials, and this year, you came 29th. Now, come on. Exactly. You got a good attitude, kid. Keep it up, huh? OK, you guys, let's hit the showers. You smell like goats. Let's go. Hey, Red, why can't you stay in your lane, huh? Don't you have any morals for crying out loud? Come on, kid, bring it in. Let's go, let's go. How'd, how'd you get here? Well, today I took the bus, but sometimes no, I'm no, late. no, 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 no. I mean, how did you get around the track so fast? Well, I ran. You ran. Yeah. You been holding out on me, kid? Well, I have been working out real hard. Listen, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come dressed tomorrow ready for practice, okay? All oh, right, thanks, coach. What should I wear? Surprise me. Hi. 
Oh, uh, hello, Mrs. Clements. <laughs> Call me Stephanie, please. All right. Stephanie. <laughs> uh, uh, don't you want to know what you can call me? Oh, sure. Benjamin. 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 <laughs> Isn't it great about Andrew getting a chance to be in the track team? Uh, I, I didn't hear anything about that. Yeah, apparently the coach is very impressed with him. He is, huh? Bye, Benjamin. Bye. Stephanie. Hi, guys. This is gonna be fun, huh? Now, I've been doing some reading, and they say the 400 is sprint. I don't know. I think you should pace yourself and then pour it on at the end. What do you guys think? I think it's time to see what you can do in a 400. Now, get in your lanes, gentlemen. Me and the guys have been talking some strategy. <laughs> I worried for nothing. Let me hold this for you. Uh, Clements, why don't you try this lane here? All right, gentlemen, to your marks. In lane three. Set. The hometown favorite. Go. Andrew Clements. You too, Clements. They were gonna let me go this year. What was that? I don't know. He just came out of nowhere. Well, good. You can use that excuse when they're handing out scholarships. Nice work, kid. Nice work. Be ready for that race next week, huh? It's coach. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have smiled at you like that. <laughs> no, I meant you're running. You're really talented. Oh, thanks. You're really... a girl. <laughs> line first you know what i mean a little help from your friend ultraman more than a little help without him i would have been dust exactly you can't use your powers in that way oh i'm not hurting anyone andrew you made a solemn vow to use your powers only when they were needed they are needed <sighs> you've got all this dr jeffcoat i've just been a kid and now I'm different. I can finally be a winner. Andrew! Mr. K. Wood, to the office, please. Hey, David. Good luck in the track meet tomorrow. Hi. It's Andrew from the track. I remember. Oh. Uh, well, I haven't seen you for a while with my brutal training schedule. It must take a lot out of you. Well, not everything. I was wondering. Yeah? What's your name? Cindy. Oh, that's pretty. 
Where did you get a name like that? My parents gave it to me. Oh, that's the best way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, do you want to go out and see a movie tonight or something? Sure, I'd love to see a movie, but I have to ask my mom. Oh, well, gee, I don't know if I have enough money for the three of us. No, I have to ask my mom to see if it's all right for me to go. I'm sure it will be. Oh, terrific. I'll be at your house at eight. Andrew, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, right. I meant my address. So, what do you think? I think a fifth outfit was the best. Ah, uh, Aaron, this date's important to your brother, so if you're going to criticize, it should be constructive. I'd give it another shot. Hey, David. What are you doing? Leave me alone, Clements. I'm busy. What are you doing? Going out with a girl. Maybe catch a movie. The night before the race? You sure don't take this seriously, do you? Are you kidding? I tried on six outfits before this one. The race is tomorrow, Clements. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, well, aren't you worried? Hey, whatever happens, happens. I got this for you. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> wow, thanks. I thought it might bring you luck. It already has. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, thanks for the shirt. No, I meant... going to run? You or Ultraman? Well, me. With a little help from Ultraman. Then why should I come? Oh. Why should they even have a race? It would mean a lot to me if you'd come. It would mean more to me if Ultraman didn't. today. I don't know. Clements guy really has me psyched. Look, Dave, you've been working too hard to blow it now. Yeah, yeah, I'll see what I can do. See what you can do? Fine. I took off work to watch a kid see what he can do. Runners, take your marks. Oh, 
Get set. Thanks, Dad. You ran a great race. Hey, thanks, Matt. It's my best time ever. You really pushed me there. It wasn't easy. Yeah, see you around. Terrific. Terrific. Great. It's great. Mm -hmm. You were terrific. I was? I'm glad you could make it. Me too. That was a very difficult thing you did. I've got dates. No, no, no. I mean the race. Yeah. I thought it'd be better to let Andrew run. Andrew, you have a lot more powers than you think. Come on. 